trying to get back into working out because your girl's getting chunky chunky and i got a humidifier for my skin but before we do that um let me show you guys my skin routine because i feel like it's relevant to this skin healing journey of mine um so yeah i'll show you so this is usually what it looks like it used to look worse than this i do um scrub all of it off in the shower then my neck and my face see this side's better i just got done with like a scratching take this coconut oil and I right after the shower I just rub it all over the areas that are in, inflamed or infected yes breaking up flaring up and I just rub it all over I learned that other ones like aquaphor and Vaseline I react very it irritates my skin so I stopped using that even in the shower. I don't really use anything at all either. I just put it all over. And I also have this guy right here. But he's not that bad. If your skin is drier and you have elephant skin and you're peeling, it'll look like it's just staying on top of the surface. Like it's not going to soak in. Um, but that's normal if you're going through TSW and you're in beginning stages. And then this is what it looks like after the other side. Then for my lips, I literally just got this, but um, I put this on once probably in the morning and at night um and i just only when my hands are clean because i don't want to like contaminate this thing and i just kind of put it all over my lips <coughs> bless me i don't know if it works or anything it just smells good and it feels good i just got it this week so i don't know but normally i will use vaseline Vaseline is the only other moisturizer I use. I use this on my lips and then these little areas right here and then like basically like a spot treatment if I need extra moisturizer other places. Um, and then that's all I use. Um, when I'm in the shower, I don't really use um, body wash anymore because it does um, an irritate my skin so if i do use a body wash i actually just put this on right before and then it just kind of cleanses everything off um if you know about coconut oil coconut oil is not only a good moisturizer natural moisturizer but it's also a good cleanser so i use that if i'm wearing makeup and i use that to take off my makeup and stuff um but yeah so and then in the shower, um, I literally just use my hands and I don't scratch to pull, take off any excess um, skin, dry skin that's there. I just kind of like scrub it to, until it like kind of comes off with my fingers. And then once I get out, I also scrub it off with a towel to kind of just get anything that's excess off as much as possible. And literally that is my whole entire skin routine. I don't do anything else just because my skin's very sensitive and um it's the only thing that's really been working for me um i've always tried like other things like the um keels read like someone some of the keels like oils and stuff like that my skin doesn't like it and every single time i just go back to vaseline and coconut oil my skin likes it so that's what i do and then i drink water all day um i'm trying to eat, drink 80 ounces a day i just am very bad at it i used to be better but yeah i'm gonna put some makeup on and then we can open the humidifier okay so the reason why i bought a humidifier is because they say that um if you're adding external moisture into the air because it's really cold here and it's cold, um, 
it's like really dries up the air. So I got a humidifier and they say that it's supposed to help um, add moisture back into the air um, and it's good for your skin. You're supposed to be keeping like anything between like 30 to 50 percent or something like that. The humidifier I got is from Costco. The reason why I got it from Costco is because if something goes wrong then we can return it and get it uh, replace it basically you know gotta gotta get those deals so basically it's like a warranty if it doesn't work I can go back and get a different one I gotta be smart you know uh, I found out that it actually has these like mold reducing things so you don't have to um, clean it I don't know um, but yeah and it's really quiet it's small it looks nice and that's why I got it. it has these like cool little things right here these are like basically arms that you could attach to it so it like distributes everywhere um, optional to put on you don't have to comes with this guy, another one of these arms, thingy majiggies. I'm assuming it goes this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Like that. And here it is. So I got the Pure Guardian Humidifier Ultrasonic Smart Mist for 120 hours and the reason why I got this is honestly just because it held a lot of water she comes with this thingy a little thank you card here's to a happy home where you start every day feeling relaxed refreshed and renewed clean creating better home environment so I was looking at one like this and I didn't like the way it looked so that's why I didn't choose it Cool. Okay. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So you could either just do it like this. And this is cool. So this, I'm assuming, is the water tank. Filled tank with water only, no scents, oils, or gels in tank. And then this is what this kind of looks like. Let's try it out. We're gonna fill him with water. So this is where you fill the water. Literally filled all the way. Okay. Nice, it has a little handle. Whoa! That was instant. And then if you want to go higher, you can add this little guy.